Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can transform your computer from a Ubuntu computer into a Mac computer. Not the whole system, but just the way it looks and feels. Now, there's a thing I recently found out called a Macbuntu from this website here. And it from Noob's Lab, that's what, that's what it's called. So using the, the things from that website, you are able to transform your Ubuntu computer to look exactly like a Mac computer. So today I'm going, just going to show you how you can do that. The first thing we need is a set of wallpapers. Now you can click on this link here and it will download a set of wallpapers to your computer. Now if I go here and open it up and you see I have a bunch of wallpaper that usually comes with Mac computers and let's change our wallpaper right now. So I'll right click, change desktop background and click on add, go to wallpapers and pick your favorites. This first one is my favorite so I'm going to use that one. And there you go, you have a Mac looking background. Now the next thing we will need to do is to install a set of themes and icons and all that stuff to our computer. So to do that, you need to open a terminal. So here you can type in these commands. So all this does is add a PPA noob slab to the APT repository and you run the update command first and then you install the themes and icons. Now this will install all the necessary things and icons to your computer, so it'll be, it's a real quick process. I already did that for this computer, so I'm gonna skip ahead. For the fonts, you can do the same thing, but this time you use wget to directly download the fonts to your computer. And then you'll unzip it, and then you'll put it in your system via these commands. All of, by the way, all of these commands, you can find it on this article attached to this video in the description. Next, we need the Unity Tweet tool. This is a great tool where you can further customize your computer and it, you can use it to customize your theme, your icons, and the way the computer behaves in general. So you can download the Tweet tool via these two commands. And once you have it installed, you can open it by doing the search for it and then it shows up. Now you can use this to change the way your computer looks. Now the, 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 we'll, we'll change the look later, but first I want to enable expose on the computer. Um, to do that, you can find it via hot corners here on the setting in the tweak tool. Now here you can, as you can see my setting is that on the upper left corner, I can spread all windows. And upper right, I do the same thing and do the bottom left to toggle to the desktop. So if I move my mouse to the bottom left corner right now, um, it should, but it's not working right now. But if I do upper left, it works. So this is the expose feature of the Mac computer. So you can actually do that here in the Ubuntu computer as well. Now let's get started with the theming. So if you notice the way the computer looks right now, it looks like the default Ubuntu look. So I am going to make it look like Mac computer. Now remember the theme that we installed earlier on? Let's go there. And you can click on the theme icon here. And if you look down here, you should see a bunch of Mac Ubuntu themes. So the one I really like is this default Mac Ubuntu OS X. So if I click on it right now, as you can see, my interface changed immediately to look very much like Mac. And I want to change my icons too. So if you notice the folders right now, it looks like the default Ubuntu theme. I want to change it to Mac Ubuntu OS. And as you can see, it's the familiar blue icons. I want to change my cursor too to Mac cursor, so it has that spinning thing. And I'm keeping the fonts as Ubuntu fonts. So if you want to use Mac fonts, you could go ahead and do it. But I like the Ubuntu fonts. Next, we need to install Albert. Albert is a emulation for Spotlight. So you can install it via the following commands. So I've already done that. And once you install it, you can launch it. So just do, if you, uh, you can write Albert and it will start. So I already have it started and when you first start it, it will ask you to set a uh, certain settings for Albert. Uh, you can set your hotkeys, meaning like what keys you want to press to bring out Albert. So I have Control Shift P set up here. So if I do Control Shift P, 
as you can see I can just start you know very easily I can type in the the program that I want and it actually opens very easily so and you can also install different themes for it uh, if you, I had the Yosemite theme right now so it looks exactly like Yosemite um, you can look up on how to do that in the on in the article the next thing we need to install is the dock now Mac computers are famous for their docks and we want to use a program called Plank Dock. So you can install Plank Dock via this command. And if you want extra themes for the dock to look more like Mac, you can install the following commands. So before we start the dock, uh, we need to disable this sidebar here. So I don't want it to show up when I have the dock. So let's open up our trusty uh, Unity Tweet tool. And then let's go to launcher here. So let's set this as auto hide true so that it doesn't show up when it doesn't always show up. It only show up when you mouse over. And we want to start once you install the plank dock, we can uh, enable it. So let's just use our Albert. And let's find plank. So can open up plank. And it actually it's actually open. So if you go down to the bottom, you see like it's the plank dock. So I want to show you my setting here. So if you hold down Control and then right click on it, you can go to Preferences. And I'm using the Mac OS X Lion theme. This is like part of the extra themes that I install, and it will look like that. And I have it to auto hide, and you can set the size and all that stuff here and to drag to add icons to your dock you can use the finder here and then you can just drag something down here and it'll show up there and if you want to remove something you can just right click and uncheck the keeping dock so this is very handy and nice i really like it now all of these programs will not auto start um, automatically so in order to start your all these apps automatically you need to put them in the startup application so you don't have to manually start them every time you restart a computer so in the we had to use Albert to find startup applications now here you can specify the list of programs you want it to start when the computer starts here I have to set it to Albert and Plank it's very easy to add something so if you want to add something click on add and I'm gonna show you the setting I have you just name the startup program you want and then the location where the program is located. Usually mine is at user bin and then you can find the app that you want. And you press that and then you press close and it will start automatically the next time you start. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to transform your Ubuntu computer into a Mac computer. I want to thank Noobs Lab for coming up with this amazing uh, transformation pack for Ubuntu and I highly recommend you visit their website and they pretty much do everything I went over in the tutorial um, I just have something custom on my own so I hope you find this useful and I'll see you guys next time